Hey guys, Brandy here. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to successfully install Ginny Motion on your computer for Android development with React Native. This is gonna cover all the little tricks that you have to do so you won't have to search Stack Overflow like I did, hopefully, to find it. So here we go. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that you download Java SE for your computer. So head over to this link, it'll be in the description, and you're just gonna pick what OS you're on and then download the correct one. The next thing is we are gonna download Android Studio. So head over here, this will be the second link in the description, and click the green button to download, and download Android Studio. Next, you wanna head over to the Ginny Motion website. And in the docs, it's gonna say that you need to make sure that you have VirtualBox installed. So go ahead and do that. The next thing is we are gonna download just a free version of Ginny Motion for personal use. So you're gonna head over to ginnymotion.com slash download and pick the one for your OS that you wanna download. Next, you're gonna to wanna to register the license key. Mine did this automatically for me, but I'm not sure if that is how it always works, so I wanted to make sure to point you guys to this part of the documentation to make sure you register with the key that it gives you after you're done downloading. The next thing you're going to want to do is go into your bash rc file. You're going to create a variable called android home and you are going to set its path to where we downloaded this Android Studio SDK. The next thing that we are gonna to wanna to do is we wanna go into our local.properties file, and if you don't have this, go ahead and create one. And we are going to type sdk.dir and we are going to set it to the path where our Android Studio was downloaded. So if you go into your Android Studio, it'll give you that path right away. So what we're going to do is we are going to go into Preferences and you see it has a path right here. So now that we're in here, let's do a couple things. Let's download the Android 6.0. So you're gonna click that and hit OK. And you'll notice that this is in the React Native documentation as well. It might just be a little hard to find. The next thing we wanna do is click SDK Tools. Then we wanna show Package Details. We want to scroll down and make sure we have 23.0.1. Once we have that, we are going to go ahead and click download. So once you have all of these things running, you would then start your Ginny Motion simulator and then in your terminal type react-native space run-android. So we have our Ginny Motion right here. I have the Google Galaxy Nexus. You can download any type of device that you want and it'll just start running it for you. And in our term terminal, we're gonna do React Native Run Dash Android. And there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys now are able to use Ginny Motion for your Android development with React Native. Make sure to subscribe to my channel below and leave any comments or questions.
Thanks, guys. Have a great day.